Smart guns that call for backup when police officers fire them. San Diego students stage a shit in and jet powered fried chicken. I'm John P. Where else will you get news like this? Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Lynda.com. Okay, let's start in Silicon Valley where a 10 person startup called Yardarm is connecting police pistols to the internet. They're inserting sensors into the butt of police officers' guns so dispatchers get instantly alerted to send backup whenever a pistol is unholstered or fired. While they're at it, they also provide aiming data to investigators reconstructing an officer involved shooting. This isn't pie in the sky stuff, it's being field tested by police departments near our studio in Texas, as well as in Santa Cruz, California. Hopefully not too near our studios. US Army Rangers had a different problem, sighting rifle scopes without taking their eyes off the target. So when a ranger turned engineer wound up at Sandia Laboratories, he quickly realized some liquid lenses in development there could provide the adaptive zoom soldiers needed. The result? Razor. Rapid Adaptive Zoom for Assault Rifles. Sandia is working to integrate Razor into night vision scopes, the last step needed to get this technology onto the battlefield. When we heard students at San Diego State were staging a shit in, we thought that was a typo, but no. It turns out they were protesting a lack of gender neutral restrooms by setting up porta potties around campus. So far, their cries of no justice, no piss have gone unanswered, but as near as we can tell, they don't give a crap. SDSU students, Geek Beat salute you. We are sure you can, uh, wipe out this injustice in your lifetime. Latrine ready for inspection, sir. I wonder if those San Diego students ever need to go to lynda.com when they have to have a little help with their homework. You know, lynda.com forward slash geekbeat has thousands of instructional videos on just about anything you'd want to learn. They've got videos on Architecture, AutoCAD, animation, audio editing, Android development, analytics, After Effects, and those are just a few of the A's. Head over to lynda.com forward slash geekbeat to check out all the things you can learn and to get a free week of all you can eat video. To China we go where we take a walk on the wild side. Seems every day the Chinese are dumping jillions of gallons of cooking oil used in woks to produce crispy fried chicken yeah. down the drain. How much used oil? Enough to get Boeing interested in converting it to jet fuel. We're talking 500 million gallons of used wok oil, people. Enough to power 1,600 domestic Chinese flights on the wings of chickens. <laughs> Okay, all this talk of fried chicken has made me hungry. So I'm off to our neighborhood chicken shack, followed by a visit to a nearby gender neutral net restroom. Assuming I can find one. By the way, t-shirts are back in stock. We've got very limited quantities. And by that I mean no more than like 20 of any given size in any particular design. In some cases we only have three or four of a particular size. But if you head over to geekbeat.tv forward slash shop, all the inventory is currently accurate, so the system tells you exactly how many we have of your size in stock. Just select the size from the drop down and then right down there it tells you how many there are. So if we have it, we'll ship it to you within a day if you order. We made the decision not to take any more pre-orders because it just takes too long for us to get everything made and have it in stock and all that stuff. So occasionally, Callie and I are going to let you guys know when a shipment arrives, so jump on it or wait till the next shipment comes in. I'm thinking we might have one more shipment before the holidays, but not entirely sure about that because we're gonna be really busy at the end of the year preparing for the team's annual time off between Christmas and New Year's, plus getting ready for the big CES show. So anyway, that's it for now, gang. See you next time. I'm John P. Dave, do something weird. Just take me out of here. Do something weird? I don't know. Take me out.
There was like a follow follow me mode. Like after I lifted it up, it said follow me. Absolutely. Okay. So Are you ready for a strip show? Hell yeah. Wait, get your mind out of the Matt gutter. Kevin wants to know, how do we prepare for our live show on Fridays? 